Hey there, it's me, Sapphire Moonbeam. I'm going to do a general reading for the sign of Taurus for October 2020. These are general messages. Just take what resonates, leave behind what does not. I really believe if you clicked on this video, there will be a message or two that is meant for you. And I want to remind you that I do private readings. If you want to get a private reading from me, you can visit me at sapphiremoonbeam.com and send me a message. So this is going to be the overall energy card for the reading from my Moonbeam Magic Oracle card deck. The card is see peace. When you find peace within yourself, you will find it more outside of you. Stop and take a deep breath. Breathe peace into your heart and breathe peace out from your heart. Be peace, see peace. It's always good advice. Always, always. Now I'm going to pick at least one card for another sort of an overall energy card for the reading. See what's going on with Taurus for October. I feel like it's that one. Okay. Um, wow. Lately I've been getting cards come out upside down and I don't normally like to read the reverse, but it's seeming to fit for some reason. I feel like with the wheel of fortune upside down, um, it's kind of like a stoppage. It's, um, your opportunities have been put on hold. And that kind of makes sense with the time period that we're living through right now. This is, uh, you know, these two alone are saying, take a deep breath, be as peaceful as you can about it, especially when you have no control. I know it's easy to say, hard to do. Trust me. Let's see what else is in store for Taurus for October. We get the moon card. Beautiful, beautiful. The moon is a really awesome card to get in October because there are two full moons in October. One on the 1st and one on the 31st. That is exciting. We got the scythe at the upper right. We got the fox, and we got the clouds. So the first thing that really popped out to me already was the full moon card. This, to me, since it's on the left, is representing the first full moon in October. And when the moon is at the peak of its power, I always use the time to really work on things that I want to manifest. And I utilize the time to make big wishes. I have a chat with the moon. It's, it's, it's just a good idea to honor the moon in whatever way speaks to you. It's, even if it's nothing more than just lighting a candle and letting it burn and having a chat with the universe about what you really, really wish for. They are honoring the moon. They are grounded with the earth. They are there with the, um, the elements, really. And so this, to me, is the very first full moon. Now, this card is the scythe, but what really immediately popped out to me was that this is the second moon of the month. Something that you really, really wish for. It's very possible that by the end of the month, on the second full moon, you'll be ready to harvest at least part of it, you know? It's, it's not saying that everything you wish for comes true within a month, but you're going to be much closer to being able to harvest something that's meaningful to you. Now, the clouds here are about a time period of confusion and really uh, lacking clarity to a certain extent. And the fox is about being clever and finding a way to reach your goal. Let's pick some more cards. First, I'm going to pick four the clouds. Now, if you're confused about something, you already know what that is. I mean, you know, if you're not sure about something, you have a lack of clarity, you already know what that is specifically. This is telling you to look closely at that issue. 
that magnifying glass is saying, look at the fine details. And it's possible that is going to help you find more clarity about the, the question that you have. Whatever has you sort of confused. Let me pick a card for that scythe. So the mountain is saying it's still going to take some time. There's still going to be a delay that you might not have anticipated. You know, when I see the mountain, especially in this card, I just try to remember, do your best to enjoy the the beauty of the journey, even though there are obstacles and there are things that are keeping you from what you think you'd like to have now. Um, there's There's beautiful scenery there along the way. And this is a slow but steady ascension to a higher place. Now, the scythe itself, without the moon, you know, is, is about a, a, sh a sudden and swift change. It can be as well. Let me pick a card for the moon. So the big wish and dream is something you need to keep the faith about and really believe in it. Because if you're not believing in something that you really want to manifest, it's hard to imagine it coming true. For the fox, we get roll the dice. This is, um, once you find more clarity about something that you have been wanting, and once you really look at the fine details, this says take the chance. Absolutely. Go for it. You never know until you try. I'm going to pick a card for the magnifying glass. And we get the child card. So this is the beginning of something brand new, and that might be part of the confusion. It's something in the very early stages. And the child card is also a nod to be more playful, have more fun. I'm going to pick a card for... All right, then. It fell on the floor. We'll take it. We'll take it. Taking the chance with love. <laughs> Taking the chance with love, the energy of that fox will help you find your way to that goal eventually. I like that. Let's pick another card for the mountain. So, there is stability around the mountain. There is something to be very very grounded and stable. I'm going to pick another card for that child. And we get a couple of owls. The wise wise owl knows that it's very important to communicate and be very open in your talks with somebody that you care about. That's just a pretty decent amount of advice regardless. I'm going to pick a card now for love. I'm going to pick a card for the moon area with love. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now that may only speak to one or two of you. Let me pick another card for love. I'll Put it close to the owls. I think it was this one that wanted to come out. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. Interesting. I'm going to pick one more card here for the hearts. And we get the bear. The bear is strong. The bear is protective. The bear can make it through any challenge. That's another really great animal um, quality to have around. And let's see. I want to pick one more for the scythe and close to the mountain. We get the letter. There should be some news coming in. It could be an old-fashioned handwritten letter. 
It could be a love letter. It could be just something that makes you have a new point of view, especially since the clouds were here. Look at it closely, especially if it's something that will affect your journey. Definitely take everything into consideration before you take the chance. You need to use the energy of that magnifying glass before you take the chance. But it is saying to let your friends help you. So you may need to communicate with your friends to kind of bounce the ideas off of them too about this situation. I like this for you, Taurus. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I wish you peace. I wish you love. I wish you blessings. Be well.